Hi everyone, we're going to go through uh, another lesson here on Minitab. Again, the, uh, the background right now is that we got a data set, uh, potentially from a, we got a bunch of measurements off of some parts off one run, uh, or mul uh, multiple runs, and we're wanting to see how the data set looks. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is how to use the box plot tool in Minitab and kind of show you what you can do with that data once you once you get that graph. So we got our data set, we got our groups. Let's go into the graph um, spot here and then hit box plot. Hit the with group since we do have a group. You could do it individually if you wanted to. Alright, so I'll clear this out just to make it easy to see what needs to happen here. So first you got to pick your data set. This could have again multiple columns of data. Pick your data set. It says categorical variables. So figure out what labels you want for this. So we'll put our labels. Um, you can modify some of this stuff but it's not necessary just to get a simple graph. So let's hit OK. Alright so now we're looking at our data and we got three different groups again. 30 pieces. Now a couple things that you could get out of this is for, first of all you're seeing a, a lot more uh, I guess a little more variation here again this is 50 percent of your data set uh, shown right in here while some of these other ones have a much tighter grouping of that 50 percent. So if I got some if I got this kind of data and somehow this amount of variation here was a problem for me, I might start looking at uh, was this done by a different shift, a uh, different operator, different tooling, different measurement gauge did this, uh, kind of going down that path and, and figure out what is causing this variation. Um, maybe you had a different um, type of plastic that was getting ran or something in your tool, whatever the case is. A um, couple other things you see again, if you're familiar with statistics, this is your uh, median line. So these two look fairly close, uh, at least for this purpose, but let's say that this somehow was a, a problem for us. So again, same thing, um, you see a difference, start thinking about what would be causing this difference versus this and one thing that you'll get is when you're attacking I guess some of these kinds of problems with large variation and, and figuring out what needs to be tightened up you'll get this hole because I again let's assume this is a group of uh, parts that you're running for your customer and you want them to be as close to the spec as possible or within a really tight um, grouping on the variation so the more you attack this kind of stuff, the more you'll get a tighter grouping of the data, have more consistent um, measurements for your customer. Okay, so I think we'll stop here, and uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing more lessons soon to come.